An update this morning on a story that we've been following about harmful chemicals in Washington water sources. Yeah, we're talking about PFAS or those so-called forever chemicals. The synthetic compound was used for decades, but now scientists are linking it to a growing list of health risks. King 5's Drew Andre joins us now in the newsroom. Drew, one mobile home park that had potentially dangerous levels of PFAS in their well now has a plan to fix it. Well, that's right, Far In the mobile home park we visited in June, Clear Creek, was identified as one of many water sources in the state with PFAS contamination. But at the time, there was no plan to solve it. But now, that mobile home park is finally taking action. The state says they're pursuing a connection to nearby Sil Silverdale Water District. In Kitsap County, about 20 homes in the Clear Creek mobile home park get their water from this well. I bathe with it. I launder with it, that's it. I won't even wash my car with it. And just about everyone living there exclusively uses bottled water for drinking and cooking. According to the Department of Health, their well has nearly three times the perfluoric octane sulfonic acid deemed by the state safe to consume. Pretty much a real bad combination. Now the state says the mobile home park is attempting to connect to the Silverdale Water District. Down the road from Naval Base Kitsap, Clear Creek is just one example of a community near a military base detecting PFAS in their water. Across the country, firefighting foams containing the chemical were used in military training exercises for decades. Last week, the Navy hosted two community meetings to address questions and concerns about PFAS, which had been detected in groundwater at the base. The state of Washington started requesting that public systems share data from drinking wells, marking the wells that have some level of PFAS, a high enough level to trigger state action like Clear Creek, and an expected stricter maximum contaminant level that will be established by the Environmental Protection Agency early next year. That level is just four parts per trillion. Right now, the Navy investigates PFAS when wells are above 70 parts per trillion. The Department of Defense said it is assessing what action DOD can take to be prepared to incorporate the EPA's final regulatory standards into our current cleanup process. And once the official official maximum contaminant level is set, it could force more water systems to add costly water treatment facilities like we've seen already. This is something we will continue to follow. Back to you.